All right. Welcome back to another episode of Empyrean, and we are under heavy fire because I'm a moron and fly too close to a epsilon base. Uh, let's get out of here. Fly low so uh, the curb curving of the planet helps me, helps what helps me out all right uh, there was supposed to be yeah here to the south uh, just gonna keep an eye okay I think we're good yeah all right um, yeah I'm uh, trying to find the Automanas. It has been two weeks since I placed them, so I hope that uh, no one or, or artillery J have been uh, have found them. Doesn't look like that, at least. That's good. Uh, my food situation is really bad, so I have to hurry up to get uh, back to the ship and stuff like that as well. Uh, okay, next one is over here. Uh, yeah, and in today's episode, we are. It's a uh, late. Uh, sorry, sorry about that. Once again, I'm. Uh, I'm uh, late with videos. Uh, according to my schedule, this could, I should have been out for uh, uh, four hours, uh, four hours ago when I recorded. Right now, so uh, yeah, uh, I have. Uh, I was uh, really tired today after the live stream yesterday, uh, Minecraft live, st live stream, and uh, because of that. Uh, yeah, I didn't feel to record because uh, recording when you're tired is not. Um, yeah, it's not uh, working. Let's uh, let's uh, just say that uh, you uh, lose your your the track of the what you're saying and. You start rambling about everything, and yeah, it's not good. Uh, next auto miner is here. <laughs> All right, so now I'm in the orbit, and yeah, that's the ship. Good, because as you can see, my air supply is really low, and my food supply. Well, I was at the base, uh, the Akua base, and got some, got a salami. But uh, other than that, I am really low now. So, um, too much speed coming in. Come on, please. Can I? Please. There we go. Okay, land the ship. That's good. Take the helmet on. Get some air. Get loads of air. And I will show you what I picked up and the reason I was uh, low on air on the air supply was. Uh... Yeah, okay. Lights on. Good. Uh... I'll get some food. Uh, drop that in here and into this one because we have loads of iron and we also have some more um, hydrogen bottles uh, which are actually um, 
Let's see here. It's enough with 124 in this one because uh, this is supposed to be down below in the engine bay, engine room, in this one. Oh, I actually have some horse. Alright, anyway, uh, put that in here. Alright, so we are right outside, uh, in orbit of the Maspero moon. We have an outpost down here. And our capital vessel is hovering, uh, or is uh, in orbit. And I have been AFK overnight to craft up. ton of uh, combat steel blocks. I have also picked up some more iron. And the capital vessel starter block. If you think that ship is big, think twice. This is gonna be one of the biggest ships ever. It will make that ship look like an ant. The only thing I have to say about this is that it's going to be a little bit special because of the way we have to build it. Therefore I have to to look like that when I start building because the bottom of the ship will be down towards the planet and this ship is going to be massive I'm just uh, uh, going to draw a line for come on. all the way. Come on. There we go. This have been my plan all the time to build this ship. It's actually also go going to be our base. So now I think we might have the height. No, we do not. We need to make it even bigger. Something like two more rows, like that. Yeah, there we go. So now I have to draw one line out here. Uh, actually, I need another one, two. And yeah, I will be back when I have the outline. All right, so half of the main platform is done. Only the half of it. There you go. That is how big the central. Uh, there are going to be four uh, platforms outside of this, almost like a snowflake. But uh, just to prove how big this ship is going to be, I am going to uh, fly th this capital vessel and land it on that path. And also pick up some more iron blocks. So let's uh, 
head up here. And run through to the bridge. Turn on the thrusters. There we go. Yeah. It's big. It's very big. <laughs> and like I said, this is just one half of the main platform. So, uh, yeah. Let me do the rest and I will be back. Alright, yeah. Well, I have finished the bottom <coughs> the bottom platform. And yeah, my ship is over there. Uh, this is now like I said, the main platform. There's going to be a tower coming up here with a few smaller towers coming up on the sides and then we are going to have the piers out on either side here uh, yeah here there there and there and yeah this is gonna be a huge like I said uh, the engines of the ship will actually be if I go out to this one because here's one pier uh, coming in and yeah it's going out very very far way out uh, but uh, the engines will be underneath these so uh, yeah uh, the whole uh, ship is going to be uh, I would guess uh, a category 5 so uh, yeah uh, in the next episode we are going to uh, progress a lot because uh, then I will have a week on me to record it. Uh, I did not have that time um, for this episode, and I apologize for that because the episode is going going to be a lot shorter as a result of that. But um, this should really, um, yeah, turn out to be. So yeah. Uh, four piers and uh, there are going to be weapon platforms outside on the outside and towers uh, coming up like I said and also there will be um, yeah basically it's going to be a city and it's going to be a uh, ship so we can land it on a planet have it stationed on the planet until we need to move and then we can just fly away so it's going to have a warp drive it's going to have uh, uh, all of the things that this ship has just ten, 10 times more so uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the episode now, uh, thank you for watching, leave a like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next time, bye bye!